So I can begin. So, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, today uh, we are here in Kakamega to perform a postmortem for the body of the late Kizito Moi, a gentleman who reportedly died on 27th of uh, last month after allegedly being gored by a bull. The autopsy was performed uh, by the local pathologist, Dr. Mchana. However, there were some complaints which uh, led to us being called here to do a repeat. So I'll go straight to find my findings. What I found is that the late uh, Kizito had injuries. One injury was on the forehead on the right side. There was one on the anterior neck and on the inner thigh of the left uh, leg. Looking at his injuries, they were penetrating. And they, were co they, were, they also had some features which included uh, some, bru some bruising around, around them. And uh, to look at them uh, closely, uh, they look like uh, injuries which are caused uh, by sa something which was penetrating but was not very sharp, was uh, a, bit, a bit blunt, which is in keeping with uh, a horn of an animal. So from all these findings, uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, in, indeed the initial autopsy was correct and uh, it was uh, caused by an animal other than uh, something which has stabbed the person like uh, what was being alleged that uh, it was a knife or something like that. So that is all. <coughs> yes. Any question? I want to thank Dr. Mchana, the local pathologist here. I want to thank the team of investigators at the region, in the county, and in uh, Malinya. And I want to thank the homicide squad from Nairobi that was led by the director himself for giving this matter the seriousness it deserves. I'm glad that Dr. Oduor the government pathologist has now announced a closure. As I pass my condolences to the family, my community, and the bullfighting fraternity, that we shall move the remains of on Monday at home back in Malinya. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, 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 Dr. Jensen. Uh, doctor. Sorry. Sorry, we have overlooked something very important. Before we allow the member of the family to speak, there was a doctor in our team who was representing the complainants. It's only fair that you hear him. Dr. Honya. Uh, good afternoon, all. My name is uh, Dr. Honya. I was representing the complainants, uh, the people who had alleged that there was some sort of foul play. But indeed, I have attended the postmortem. I've written my report, and I concur with what Dr. Johansen Tornodur has stated. It is as he has stated. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Familiar? Familiar? Familiar. Before the jury goes, one more. Familiar. Who is no, stroke? No. Who is stroke? Kwa machina ni Fredi Kashono Mwanji. Mimi na shukuru, Frigaliku. Kukupatia muelekeo, na tumefata muelekeo. 
bore mwili toke ndukuyanga anda sikwe ni yotu labda kama familia mipango yenu ya kufika mpenga wenu imeshafika mahali mtafuatilia labda kuchukua hatua dhidi ya mtu ambaye alikuwa amewasiliana kwa upande wangu mimi kama nduku ya marehemu ningechua mtu mwenyewe sijachua mtu mwenyewe serikali bado ijakwambia mtu mwenyewe lakini naomba serikali kusaidie kwa sababu ile karama ambayo yenye tulikuwa program bila tulikuwa tumeanzisha program imechelewa tumetumikia pesa nyingi na bado tunaendelea kutumikia pesa nyingi serikali itakusaidie hapo ile karama yetu tulikuwa tumeenda ule mwenye alifanywa maneno serikali ndio inaweza kufuatilia ichue vile hiyo process vile inaweza kufuatiliwa sandeni